China has historically been associated with ingenuity and productivity. Today, because of China's massive population and its prominent position in the global economy, it has some of the most challenging environmental conditions in the world. Up to 80% of our urban residents are exposed to badly polluted air, and more than half of our water resources are seriously contaminated. Every year, two of a million tons of food products are contaminated by heavy metals. All this cannot be resolved very easily, and uh, probably, you know, even in my lifetime. Ma Jun began his career as a journalist in southern China. He was inspired to write a book about the impending water crisis in his homeland. I came to the conclusion that uh, the water problem is so massive, so enormous, we would not be able to overcome the problem unless we have extensive participation from the public. The primary solution for Ma Jun was to found IPE, the Institute of Public Environmental Affairs, in order to mobilize the public around these issues. Our first project was to set up a China water pollution map on our website, providing people access to water quality data, the amount of discharge, and also a list of companies sourcing from China, including GE, Nike, Walmart, Ma Jun collects pollution data in the field and compares his findings with the government's. The government has high standards about pollution, but many companies are only concerned with profits, so they don't comply with the regulations. They prefer to pay a small fine rather than opting to clean up their practices. Ma Jun is implementing change by educating the public. Citizens access the IPA website to identify who the polluters are, what they're polluting, and how they are violating government regulations. Consumers can then leverage the data against the polluters. At times, the interaction can turn into a battle. There's only one brand, Apple, that has a long-term policy not to disclose its supply chain. Even when it was facing very specific issues of pollution and even poisoning. These reports have been picked up by the media, by the NGOs, by the communities. IPE's website has had more than 10 million hits worldwide. The consumers in China and abroad have posted their views through different media and also they sent letters directly to Apple. And finally, Apple tried to fix their problem with 15 of its suppliers, including Foxconn, and pushed them to give them a timeline to clean up their supply chain in China. We do have more than 520 of the major polluters on our list have come to us and several dozen of major brands collaborating with us, and people call it a success. But to us, this is just a tiny drop of water in the ocean because this is less than 1%. So we have a long way to go. within my heart because I know that when you follow what's been instilled in you, you can't go wrong. <laughs>